Hey, how's it going? Uh, I think it's been probably about three weeks since I put a vlog up, uh, for good reasons. I came back home, I had a couple weddings to go to, a um, couple golf outings to go to, a lot of catching up with the family, a lot of catching up with friends and everything. Um, uh, after I got back from Vegas, I just kind of, you know, took the time off to uh, not really touch the computer, uh, get back to you, any of you guys with messages or comments, so sorry about that, but I am now back. So, uh, the, the Vegas trip was awesome. Yeah, just g going out and, you know, meeting new people, uh, getting to meet Matt Bridger was awesome, hang out with him and Suzanne and play slot machines and just have a whole lot of fun. Um, so yeah, uh, for now, I guess I will take you to Vegas, so. How often do you really get a chance to get Las Vegas to yourself? Right now, Monday morning, 7 a.m., barely anybody on the strip. There's nobody handing out hooker cards, nobody offering me drugs, no prosties out here. Uh, just kind of a peaceful time to be out here. I love it. see we are back in Vegas um, got here last night uh, $78 round-trip flight so I thought why not um, plus I just love it out here plus comp nights so I get to the front desk and I give him my ID credit card uh, and then I pulled the whole $20 sandwich thing I gave him everything and he's flipping through the computer, flipping through the computer. He goes, unfortunately, um, we don't have anything complimentary to give you. And I asked him, I was, and he said, based on the length of your stay. So I just asked him, I was just like, is there any way I can get anything for like a couple nights and then I could switch rooms? So he goes to the back room, talk to a manager, comes out and he goes, um, well, luckily, Andrew, we were, to, we were able to upgrade you to the, uh, what was it, the, not the Jubilee Suite, I forget which, the Indigo Grand Suite, which I just took a video of, and it's, it's pretty good. There's a bidet, I don't think I'll be using that. Um, but uh, no, it worked. That was, that was the first time I ever really tried that, and it, it worked, it was pretty amazing. Um, I got in last night, and it was the first time that I've ever gotten to Vegas and I just didn't even go out. I was just, I was drained. Came in, checked the room out, kind of looked out the window for a little bit and I wasn't even, I didn't even have enough energy to go get food. So I just, you know, put all my shit on the ground and hopped into bed and just went to sleep. Now it's about 6.30 in the morning, which is awesome because now I get a real early start on the day. Um, Probably gonna go take a shower, walk the strip for a little bit, check everything out. Um, I got a couple of plans for this trip, a um, couple of ideas, a couple of people that I'm gonna meet up with. So, today is Eclipse Day, so I don't know how much people in Vegas get to see that. I don't even know if the path even comes through. I don't know, it might be close. Who knows? Either way, we're gonna be outside, we're gonna be in the sun, uh, we're just enjoying what Vegas has to offer as usual so let's get ready and uh, let's go check out Vegas experience about coming to Vegas is um, if your flight times are screwed up um, and then you go to bed and you wake up super early you get a chance to see the casinos when they're kind of dead like after the uh, night crowd rushed home and the morning crowds not quite here and it's kind of a peaceful cool little uh, cool experience I love doing it you should give it a shot sometime
so uh, it's Tuesday now, Tuesday morning. Um, just to give a little recap of yesterday. Yesterday was a was an awesome day. Um, even though it was it was cloudy, couldn't see the eclipse. Uh, lots of people just walking, you know, with their eyes up in the air, just blindly. Um, couldn't really see anything. Um, I tried to capture it on my camera and I couldn't get anything, but no big deal. Um, I did end up playing poker for uh, a good four or five hours. Um, I was, for a while, I was just absolutely card dead. Um, and when I did catch good hands, I couldn't bring anybody into the pot. I got pocket jacks a few times, uh, would raise pre-flop and uh, didn't get any callers. Um, I was dealt pocket threes, uh, I can't even tell you how many times, couldn't connect with any flops. Um, luckily, the last half hour, uh, while I was at the table, started to catch, uh, well, good luck and uh, just decent reads. So uh, after that, I actually met up with a uh, uh, somebody that, uh, that watches my vlog, uh, met up with him at uh, Mandarin Oriental. Uh, his name is Andrew as well, and uh, he, uh, he, awesome dude. Um, we just talked about, uh, just talked about life, you know, taking chances, uh, how great Vegas is. Uh, he flew out here from uh, somewhere in New York City. Uh, he works in Manhattan. So it was, uh, you know, obviously we were talking about cold weather and, you know, shit like that that people from the East Coast talk about. So, uh, but we, I got to see Mandarin Oriental. Um, he, he was more than uh, just nice. He picked up the tab there, um, and then we uh, we went downstairs from Mandarin Oriental. For those of you that don't know, it's connected kind of by Cosmopolitan, Nari, and stuff like that, uh, right in the middle of city center. Um, but then we went to, it was, it's on the third floor of Cosmopolitan, and I would have said a lot of people don't know about it, but if you walk by from the outside, it looks like a pawn shop. And you walk in, you walk to the back door, and it's like a speakeasy, and it's this massive bar, restaurant, and it was a Monday night, and this place was just, it was, I could not believe it. It, it, it was packed, everybody was dressed up. I was in there with a backwards baseball cap and tennis shoes on, so I was a little underdressed. I wasn't expecting to be there. Um, once again, a great drink menu. Uh, we had a couple of cocktails there, uh, shot the shit a little bit, and then uh, once we left there, we uh, we were roaming through some of the casinos, and uh, they, they were lively, but a lot of $10 craps tables, so of course, what did we do? We walked on down the street to Casino Royale, and uh, we just we shot craps for a couple of hours. Um, I ended up losing about $100 there, but uh, once again, the drink service was amazing. Uh, you know, it was one of those sessions where I was up, I was down, and then uh, I just got too tired and too damn hungry, so had to bounce out of there. Uh, said bye to Andrew, because uh, I think he leaves today at 4 o'clock, but uh, hey, shout out to you, man. That was that was an awesome time. Thanks for all the, thanks for all the drinks and everything, and uh, uh, hopefully we can have another a Vegas session again soon. Um, so yeah, it was a real good day. Today, uh, I can, uh, it's, I'm pretty clear up until uh, later in the night. I'm actually, uh, I'm meeting up with another uh, Las Vegas vlogger. Uh, some of you may know him. He's, uh, he does a, a slot machine vlog. Um, I'm supposed to be catching up with him at uh, Cosmopolitan, so that'll be exciting. And uh, yeah, just another person, uh, another enthusiast that I can go and, you know, talk to and, uh, see what brings different people out here and uh, just what you know what, what makes people excited to be out here so really looking forward to that um, right now I gotta go get some breakfast and uh, just get the day started so I don't know maybe some more poker today uh, hopefully it's not too slow I know it's Tuesday and Tuesday's typically the slowest day in Vegas but who knows so let's go have some fun all right so Came out to Vegas, uh, met a few people, and I uh, ran into this guy right here, Matt Bridger, fellow and Suzanne, who's never been oh, yeah. on film before. Yeah. She's actually doing it. Yeah, yeah. Not she, on my uh... vlog, on his vlog. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, no. It's been great though. Uh, 
and we're uh, we're going on a little slot machine binge here, and we're gonna hit a bonus somewhere. We are. Uh, what, uh, Matt? What did you think about that uh, that last uh, Buffalo Gold Machine? Uh, well, we started off okay. We got to two, uh, 64 up, and then lost everything. So 100 each. We're down at the moment, but there's still time. Yeah. Hey, there's hope and there's alcohol. That's exactly. all you need. High hopes. We didn't hit the bonus. We went up. We went a little bit down, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna keep this going, and we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a good night, right? We are absolutely. I'll talk to you guys once we hit a great bonus, and none of us have to work ever again. <laughs> right, Suzanne? Absolutely. <laughs> After tonight, we're retiring. Yeah. See, we're all retiring tonight, so <laughs> yeah. we'll catch it with you guys later. <laughs> yes. about our first offer? Uh, my first offer is 25. Absolutely try again. Make a selection. Zero All right. chance. Come on. Second offer. Second offer. Come on. Thousand. No. What no. 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 Third offer. Third offer. Credit. No. Enemy under 45. So final offer. I'm happy with that. Just a little recap on yesterday. It was uh, it was absolutely awesome. Uh, met up with Matt Bridger, who's a uh, he's also a Vegas vlogger. He's from the UK. He comes over here um, usually two weeks at a time, um, and he, he just kind of goes on uh, uh, runs through the, the casinos and does just different slot machines and makes great videos. Um, I'm going to try and put a link to it in this, but uh, so I uh, I met up with him and uh, his girlfriend Suzanne. And we went to Cosmopolitan, we had a few drinks, uh, just started laughing, telling stories. And uh, then we went, on a, uh, we went on a little bit of a slot binge. And I think uh, at the end, we, we did this for a few hours. Uh, towards the end, I think I was down about $200. Um, but we, I mean, we hit our fair share of bonuses. Just, a, just an awesome time. We, we played this one random, some kind of dragon, something game it confused both of us but it was constantly hitting bonuses um and that one paid out pretty well i think we ended up up uh with that machine uh you know we played top dollar we played wheel of fortune uh just uh, just all sorts of different games and just had an absolute blast doing it um so I, i'd like to thank matt for meeting up with me uh same with suzanne it was it was awesome um currently paying for it today uh it was uh the the cocktail waitresses were around constantly, uh, the drinks were flying, and I think I ended up getting back to the room around, I don't know, 2.30 or so. So it was uh, it was definitely a fun night. Uh, the plan of attack today, once again, I have no idea. Um, just getting myself going right now. Uh, about to head out, get some food. Uh, I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna get to eat, but um, I still have today and then all day tomorrow because I'm catching the red eye back home on Thursday night back to Cleveland. Um, so yeah, that gives me two full days to just go and do whatever I want in my favorite city in the world. So yeah, let's uh, let's go get into some more trouble. All right, so I'm over here at the MGM Grand. I came over to check out all the, uh, all the hoopla going on with the fight and uh, didn't really know what to expect today, but I walked in and near the one entrance they were having a um, kind of like an introduction and like a mini workout uh, for the undercard fighters, um, which I, I, I'll tell you what, I'm not really a huge boxing fan, uh, but after seeing these guys in person just warm up with their trainers and 
uh, just go through all that stuff, it kind of it makes me want to be a boxing fan now. Um, they were giving out T-shirts, they were giving out towels. Uh, they had a guy emceeing it, and they were uh, they were giving out signed boxing gloves and everything. And it was just uh, it, the energy was it was really really cool. Like it makes me uh, now that I'm here during fight week. Um, I think one of the things that I want to do is I want to be in Vegas for a fight week and a fight night and actually go to one of the fights because it's just uh, it's, a, it's a different atmosphere. It's way, way different than anything that I've been around before. Um, obviously, it was kind of too small for McGregor and Mayweather to come, but uh, I got to see Floyd Mayweather Sr. Uh, that was pretty cool because he's still a boxing trainer and everything. And uh, he, 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 he looks just like his son. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Sr. both look, uh, they look identical just uh, with age. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, I don't know, I, I, uh, now I'm curious, now I'm actually going to order the uh, the fight when I get back and watch all the undercard fights and see how it goes because it was really, uh, really a cool experience. So um, the plan tonight is, I think I'm going to head down to Fremont Street. I think I'm meeting back up with uh, Matt Bridger. We're going to hit some more slot machines and uh, we're going to do some damage tonight. So I'll see you there. scenes thing right here. Yeah, here we go. So, <laughs> Suzanne's going to press. It's a team effort. Here we go. Oh, okay, we've not had this before. This is new. So as long as he shows up, we get yeah. all right. So three sets at three, and we're to show that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, all right. Okay. Just keep bumping it up. Keep it going. Yeah, this is where it gets difficult. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna slow down a bit. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Anyway, well, that last part was really dramatic. Better than the smack in the teeth, as they say. I think it's in the well, unfortunately, all good things come to an end, and it's time for me to leave this beautiful suite that they comped me with. Um, just another recap on last night. I met up again with uh, with Matt Bridger and Suzanne. Uh, we went downtown, and uh, we uh, we we went on another little slot run. Um, we probably played for three and a half or four hours. Uh, we just we couldn't get anything really you know too hot we hit we hit our fair share of bonuses playing the uh the ted machine um uh we played the betty white machine hit the bonus pretty fast in that uh there's also a betty page machine that we hit the the bonus in relatively fast um but yeah it was nothing too uh too crazy so unfortunately lost a little bit of money but still it was a lot of fun uh, we had a few free drinks 
and uh, for a while we just kind of, you know, sat back and chatted at one of the bars just about things and uh, uh, the future in Vegas and possibly running into each other again. So um, I still have today. My flight is supposed to leave at seven, but I'm getting some weird, some weird messages from the airline. So we'll see what's what's going on with that. I should be though taking the red eye tonight. Um, so the plan is to go take my bags to the bellhop, leave it with them, and then uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go have some fun today. I'm gonna go get something to eat first, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I want to play poker, uh, find a cheap craps table, or what. But all I know is it's starting to get really, really crazy out there with the flight coming up. So I'm assuming the table limits will probably be pretty high. Uh, but either way, uh, one thing that I do want to do is I want to check out the uh, the Harley Davidson machine that Matt and uh, Suzanne have been playing the whole time. They gave me a few tips on what to look for with it. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to give that a shot. Somehow we're going to get 
you just replenish the party funds. So as you just saw, I just hit the uh, the mega spins bonus on the Harley Davidson game, which was referred to me by Matt Bridger, and it's a relatively new machine. And it's uh, I'll tell you what, right now I don't know if it's because it's brand new and maybe the casinos haven't really caught up on it, but it's hitting pretty good. Um, I was only playing 80 cent presses and. It was it was keeping me alive in the game. I put in a hundred dollars, and um, I would bounce anywhere between a hundred dollars. Uh, I got down to like twenty, um, and then I hit a couple of good hits, and then I hit the mega bonus for eighty-four free games at three times. So that's that was pretty good. It didn't um, it didn't necessarily pay out like really really good for 84 free spins at three times but it still gave me um i think it ended up being an 155 dollar bonus so i got my money back plus uh 75 bucks or so um so once again thanks matt for that suggestion um i still got a few hours here so i think i'm just gonna keep bouncing around the strip uh seeing different things i might play a few more slots might play some craps maybe i might play some poker i don't know uh, so stay tuned. So after I won the 100 and 155 or 156 dollars at the Harley Davidson machine, uh, which was pretty exciting because that was the best bonus of that kind that you can get on that machine, um, I still had a bunch of time to waste. So I went from there to across the street to Harris. Harris had a five dollar um, five dollar craps table. Came up to it. It got really slow and then it got really hot uh ended up leaving there with 200 dollars walked um walked over to o'shea's which is one of my favorite little casinos there was a 10 dollars craps table stepped up to that one uh won another 300 dollars um took my money from there and started walking went over to the flamingo uh there was a semi-active table uh, stepped up, it was ten dollars. Played that one, won another two hundred dollars there, um, and at this point, it started getting incredibly crazy uh, as far as people showing up for the fight. Um, normally, with a ten dollar craps table, they'll have a sign that says uh, table max is five thousand dollars. Well, right before I left, uh, four people walked up and bought it for the table max. So. Uh, to them, my little two and three hundred dollar wins may have seemed a little, uh, little odd or kind of minuscule, but whatever. That was good for me. Um, the last four hours that I was there, I ended up escaping with that big slot win and about seven hundred dollars up at the craps tables. So I don't know. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen if you just, I don't know, you just keep going, keep having fun. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, in Harley Davidson slot machine, I saw so many people hitting it, I saw Matt hit it, and then of course I hit it, so, uh, yeah, go, go give it a try if it's still relatively new, because it's, it seems to be paying out pretty well. Um, so yeah, overall on the trip, um, I think, after all the slot machines, all the craps, all the poker. I want to say I ended up losing like a hundred hours on the entire trip. It ended up being a pretty good, uh, a pretty good margin, especially considering how nice my room was. And um, I think on like a dead season, that room would go for somewhere like 150 bucks a night. It's not the most extravagant, but it's still, you know, for ballets, that's 
that's a pretty good room. But uh, yeah, so I think I think now that I got this vlog up, I think I, I think I want to do a little bit more traveling. I guess you guys will just have to wait and see, right?